This is a short extract taken from a video that I made for the latest edition of one of my books. And the video is about part four of the book, which is all about reasoning strategies. This particular reasoning strategy that I want to show you allows us to simplify a subtraction once we've understood exactly how subtraction can be solved by finding the difference between two numbers. So when you watch this extract, do bear in mind that earlier activities in the book will have prepared the learner very thoroughly for the whole idea, including how to work forwards along an empty number line to solve subtractions, a method that's sometimes known as complementary addition. Here is the extract. Let's look at this example, 43 minus 17. We know the answer is the gap between 17 and 43, and we know how to solve it by bridging forwards along an empty number line. But we can also deduce that this same gap, the same size of difference, can be shifted up or down the number line. So we could measure the exact same difference between 27 and 53 if we shifted it up by 10, or 117 and 143 if we shifted it up by 100. So logic dictates that we could shift up by just three if we wanted to. And what that would produce is a subtraction problem that's so easy to do that we don't even need a number line to help us solve it mentally. 46 minus 20 is an easy subtraction because we are subtracting a multiple of 10. And it's precisely to make this happen that we displaced the subtraction by moving it up three numbers along the number line. Let's have a look at another example, 155 minus 78. Subtracting 78 is not very easy, so I'd rather subtract 80, and to do that I can just add 2 to both of the numbers, 155 becomes 157, so that 78 can become 80. Now my subtraction is very much easier, but I can make it easier still if I turn the second number into 100. So I'm turning the 80 into 100, adding 20 to the other number as well. And now the subtraction couldn't be easier 